वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे वी सर डिस्कस मोर अबाउट एरिया इन आवर लास्ट सेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एरिया एंड आई होप दैट यू गेट एवरी थिंग लाइक क्रिस्टल क्लियर एंड इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस the area of irregular figures as well as a little glance of area of regular figure okay so let us start to know more about the area of some more figure as well as today we shall solve some questions also so student before starting i would like to revise once again the concept of area so listen carefully whatever i say area as i told you that all the closed figure having their internal region and whenever we find the measurement of that internal region then that internal region is known as its area okay so if there is any figure like this is given then we can find its area by just measuring the interior of this figure then we get the area of this closed figure okay and i have explained how we do this by just forming the squares between it inside it and after measuring we can get the area of this irregular figure but here today we shall discuss the area of some regular figure like the first is area of rectangle area of rectangle as we know that this figure represent a rectangle okay and uh, the reason that lies inside it is called its interior okay and uh, the amount of this interior region is called area of the rectangle but how we find the area of this rectangle for this we divide this rectangle into small square just suppose that the length is 5 cm and breadth is 3 cm okay then we shall divide this horizontal line into five equal part and every part will be of 1 cm so here we can divide it like this okay and this vertical line we shall divide it into three equal part okay and now we shall count the number of square inside the rectangle okay as i told you that the interior the measurement of the interior will be its area so that these square are the interior of this rectangle that is why 
after counting the number of square we can get the area of this rectangle so whenever we count we get 15 number of square is 15 which means that its area will be 15 centimeter square but this method is the old fashion this method is the old fashion and we need something new so we can make it new by just by just counting the number of square of the first row and number of square of the first column okay this is the first row so that just count it 1 2 3 4 5 and this is the first column just count in 1 2 3 so here we get 5 multiplied by 3 and this will give us 15 centimeter square as the area of this figure but we need something more new so in order to get something more new just multiply this length and this length we get our result so we can write 5 cm multiplied by 3 cm and this is equal to 15 cm square here find the length five is the length and three is the width of the square of the rectangle okay and here we get the area by just multiplying the length and width of the area or you can also say that the area of rectangle is the product of its length and width so hence from this statement we get a conclusion area is equal to product of length and width so this is the formula in order to get the area of rectangle okay i hope it is clear to everybody so you can take screenshot we shall discuss the next now let us see the next area square area of square if i ask what is the square if I ask what is the square, then your answer will be a square is a simple closed figure having its all sides are equal. Okay? So that the area of the square will be if I draw a square. This is a square of length. 4 cm then this 4 cm represent that its all sides are 4 cm this is also 4 cm so just divide this horizontal line into 4 equal parts 1 2 3 and 4 and also divide this vertical line into 4 equal parts and now count the number of the square that are inside the square and they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. So there are 16 square inside the complete square that means the area is 16 cm square 
the area is 16 cm square since out of these four side there are two side are the length and two side are the breadth so we can also using the formula length into breadth so area is equal to l into b since its all side are equal that means if this is the 4 cm then it is also 4 and hence here we get 16 cm square so in order to get the formula for area of the square we use area is equal to side into side of this may be equal to side square so that the area of the square is side square so we shall use this formula in order to get the area of a square okay so let us see some question which are based on these two formula find the area of a rectangle of a rectangle whose length whose length is 80 cm and breadth is 5 cm this is the given solution and now let us see its solution first of all let's draw a rectangle whose length is 18 cm and width is 5 cm ok this is the given formula now we know that area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth so that the length is 18 cm and breadth is 5 cm so this will be 18 times the 90 cm square so this is the area of the rectangle whose length is 18 cm and breadth is 5 cm. I hope it is clear. So students, these are the concept, basic concept of area and I hope that it is understood by every student clearly if you have any doubt or confusion go to the comment section and mention there i clear your doubt in my next video
Till then, goodbye.